All right, so do you love vanilla fragrances like I love vanilla fragrances? If you do, then just keep watching. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on vanilla fragrances. I decided to go through my collection and pick out a few vanilla fragrances that I like to wear a lot. There are a few in here. I think there's one in here that's really new to my collection, but these are all that I like and I think you might like them too. Uh, before I get into the video, I just want to get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do all things beauty on this channel makeup skincare uh, fragrance hair anything that's beauty related you'll find it here so enough about that let's go ahead and get into the first one and this first one is super familiar uh, this is probably an OG um, around but this is Tom Ford's tobacco Vini. and let me tell you guys I absolutely love this i'll put the notes somewhere on the screen but just to kind of give you an idea of what it smells like this is a very spicy spicy fragrance okay you are going to get let me go ahead and spray it and the atomizer on here is top notch of course <laughs> But anyway, when you spray it, you are going to get the tobacco and the vanilla is right there upon first sniff. It just kind of stays there, but becomes more prominent as the fragrance dries down. As far as the tobacco, you really get that. And to me, it smells good. This is kind of more of a masculine leaning fragrance, but women do wear it and I am one of them. Um, I really love it. I am. Uh, a spice girl I like spices um, any type of spice fragrance um, I'm there for it and I really love it especially the tobacco and you're really gonna get that when you first spray it I mean it's there okay the tobacco is at the party and the tobacco is not going anywhere so I really like it and if you're the type of person that is comfortable wearing any type of unisex fragrances even some that kind of lean a little bit more masculine and you like the tobacco scent as well as vanilla i would definitely say to check this baby out all right so the next one that i want to talk about is inflamme by Givenchy, and this is it right here and this is another one that has tobacco in it uh, as well as vanilla and I absolutely love it. I have to say that hands down this is my favorite uh, vanilla fragrance. Uh, let me go ahead and spray it. Mm. The atomizer on here is really nice and I really like the bottle too. I like how it has the little emboss of Givenchy at the top and it's just nice tall and sleek and the juice is like a golden brown color but this is so divine. So again, when you spray this, you're going to get, it's not as spicy um, as uh, the tobacco vanille, but uh, this one I would say has more to uh, tobacco and coffee right upon first sniff and it kind of stays there uh, throughout and you get more of the vanilla as the fragrance starts to dry down. Again, this one leans more masculine, but women do wear it. I am one of them. I love the this fragrance it's very creamy and smooth it has no harsh edges again if you're a man or a woman you could definitely rock this uh, it's 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 interesting um, just to kind of give you an idea of what different people um, uh, their take on it um, my sister I let her smell it and she said well it leans a little bit more masculine um, my daughter which is 20 she said it smells like an old lady <laughs> my son which is 17 he did not like it and my husband which is my age he said that he likes it but it smells like a uh, ladies fragrance so that was just to kind of give you an idea of what different people like about it but I absolutely love it I love you know here lately I'm really liking fragrances that have that tobacco note in it probably because um, you're, you're just going to 
to get a more um, spicier leaning type of smell but this is divine I got this out of Neiman Marcus um, now the only thing that I don't necessarily like about it is I wish that it lasted a little bit longer I wish that it was more um, it had more sillage, more projection. You know, for someone to smell me with this on, they, it's, they have to be in my personal space. But nonetheless, I can smell it and that's what's most important. And this is so divine. Again, this is Inflamé by Givenchy. All right, so the next one is Vanilla Bourbon and this is by The Mix. No, this is by number nine. So it comes in a bottle like this. So let's just go ahead and spray, spray this one. Okay. Now this one is, the atomizer on this one is nice. This one smells a little bit more creamier. It is very, very sweet and it's just straight up vanilla. You know, it's a pretty linear scent. What you smell at the top is what you're going to get at the dry down. Now for me, I feel as though this could be a unisex fragrance. Both men or women could wear it. Now, is that to say that it's leaning more masculine? No, it's just, uh, to me, just a straight up, up and down, sweet vanilla fragrance. And I really, really love it. I think this was like, $20 or no, 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 $18 at Target. But this uh, vanilla bourbon, um, if you don't want to spend as much as the others, this is a super, super good buy. All right, next up, I have a fragrance from Bugari, and this is the Magnifying Vanilla. This is such a cute uh, bottle. Let me go ahead and spray this. Okay, now for this one, this one is just straight up vanilla, okay? Um, it does have a little bit of spice. I like to use this one for layering um, if I want to add vanilla to a fragrance or if a, van if a fragrance is already has vanilla already in it uh, just to kind of add a little bit more. Uh, this is very soft. It's not a very powerful scent. Uh, it, it's not what they call beast mode and all of that. It's very soft um, with a little bit of spice. This line does have other scents like patchouli, musk. Uh, I think it has bergamot. I would like to have all of those. All of them layer really good. So again, this is called magnifying vanilla. Very pretty, pretty bottle. Okay, next up I have Dior Addict and this one has been around forever um, in a day <laughs> nah, it was a uh, first um, came out in 20 2002 2002 and it was updated 2012 and then updated again in 2014 so oops, just gonna go in the automizer on here is divine uh, just like the automizer on um, Inflame, this one is really nice. Even though that has that really doesn't have anything to do with anything, but it's really nice. But this fragrance is so divine. Uh, really classic. If you were to smell it right now, nine times out of ten, you would probably say, "Oh, I've smelled that before." Uh, I think that it's like a lot of people's uh, signature fragrance. This is one that you will probably get a lot of compliments on. Uh, I would say this is one um, that people would say is a crowd pleaser or a safe buy. You really do get that vanilla scent, very creamy, very soft, uh, very long lasting. This is something that you're not gonna have any issues with once you spray it, people actually smelling you. I like it. It. I got this particular fragrance from Sephora, but you can definitely get it from Macy's. I think Bloomingdale sells it, um, Neiman Marcus, uh, quite a few people sell it, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, this is nice and it's a classic and I really love this bottle. Um, when you just when you have it set down on your vanity or wherever you keep your fragrance, it looks like a solid color, but when you hold it up to the light, you can actually uh, see through it. Very nice, it's a glass bottle. But Anyway, this is Addict by Dior. All right, so the next one that I have is a new one, and this is uh, Goddess. It comes in a bottle like this. Let me go ahead and spray it. And this one is really nice. Now, this is a fruity vanilla, really, really nice. You could wear this in any season, I think, including the summer. I think that this would really, really go well. 
this is really really nice um i've smelled some of uh, aliens other uh fragrances and while i'm no fragrance connoisseur this uh doesn't smell like the others or how do they say it? this is this this one doesn't have the dna as the original um alien but it does smell good so if you're looking for a um a vanilla fragrance that has uh that's leaning more on the fruitier side um this would definitely be good to try um this bottle is kind of interesting i I don't know if I would call it cute. It's just kind of interesting. But again, this is Goddess by Alien. All right, so the next one that I have is Vene by Outrider. Let's go ahead and spray this. Okay, so put the top on here. The way it is at first sniff, is the way it's gonna be when it dries down. It's just a solid vanilla and really inexpensive. I have seen some people say that this is actually the best vanilla fragrance that they have actually smelled. And this would be in the lines of just a straight up vanilla, like this one, um, the magnifying vanilla, or and even uh, the bourbon vanilla. Uh, those three are probably, well, and I have one more that I'm going to talk about, would just be straight up vanilla. You know, if they do have some other notes mixed in, it's not going to overpower the vanilla that's in it. But this was, but this one is super inexpensive and it smells like vanilla. <laughs> All right. So my next one is by uh, Skylar and this one is Vanilla Sky. Go ahead and spray this baby. And the atomizer on this one is really nice. Okay. So this one is really nice. This has a lot of fresh notes in uh, the top right when you first spray it. And then when, you, when it dries down, you basically get a beautiful, beautiful vanilla. Um, this is really affordable. This size bottle is like $85. And this fragrance is a clean fragrance. So if that's something that's important to you, I would definitely say to check this one out. This one's really nice. And this one is my daughter's favorite. She absolutely loves it, hands down, out of all the ones that I'm talking about. All right, so my next one is Fluidity Gold by Mason Francis Kirk John. This is the bottle. And let me go ahead and spray this. And this is so 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 good now this in my opinion would be considered like a vanilla-esque <laughs> fragrance it's very very creamy and smooth this one in my opinion would be a crowd pleaser this one um, is unisex but to me this one is leaning um, more feminine um, on the feminine side this is a very pretty very, very pretty fragrance. This is another one that um, you're gonna get a lot of compliments on. You're not gonna have any problems with projection or sillage. It's just a really, really nice fragrance. I got this particular fragrance from Neiman Marcus, but this is a popular brand, so I'm sure you can get it um, millions and millions of other places. So this one is Maison Francis Kirk John Fluidity Gold. All right, so last up I have Norvina Bourbon by Elizabeth and James. This is the bottle, a really cool bottle, I think. You know, when you have it setting down on the counter, it looks solid, but when you hold it up to the light, you can actually see through it and see the fragrance. So let me go ahead and spray this one. Mmm, so this one is nice. This one is really nice. So with this one, this one's gonna be different from the others. It's going to have that vanilla in it, but it's also gonna have oak and tuberose. So tuberose is kind of a, a tricky note. Not everybody likes tuberose, or if they do like it, it's not very much of it. So not only does this has, have tuberose, but it also has oak in it. And this fragrance could easily be worn by a man or a woman. Um, I think a a lady could easily pull it off. I particularly like to wear this as um, 
uh, at night uh, on a date or some kind of event that's going on in at night only because it's such a it's a subdued type of fragrance um, a very mature uh, fragrance I definitely couldn't see anybody younger than 40 you know <laughs> rocking this one just only because and it's probably because of the tuberose and the oak in it but overall I think this one is really nice I have enjoyed it um, if you like tuberose and oak or if you know that you are a big fan of tuberose I would definitely say to check this one out so that's pretty much it those are the vanilla fragrances in my collection that I wanted to share with you if you're interested in hearing more about other vanilla fragrances that I have in my collection let me know so I can get that video out so let me know have you tried any of the fragrances that I've talked about if so let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches